Uh, behind me you can see a replica staircase uh, of the one that was actually on the Titanic. Uh, it's causing uh, a lot of uh, interest and from the corporate market. We have a, a very grand ballroom here, the largest actually in Northern Ireland, that can take up to 750 people. Uh, but there's a lot of interest in the staircase, both from corporate event organizers, but also from weddings. Everyone's looking for that Leo and Kate moment. There are many other Titanic-related visitor attractions in the world, but none actually that have the resonance and the authenticity that we have. It's actually constructed on the site where Titanic was built, where it was designed, where it was launched, and where the workers came. So there's no other country, no other city in the world that can actually lay claim to that story. We invested our, our time and our craftsmanship and our effort in and when she sank it was a huge shock for this city. For years and years we didn't talk about it, it wasn't discussed. But now coming up to the 100th anniversary we've rediscovered that pride in the ship and we are sharing those stories again. I'm sure my great grandfather would have been surprised that Titanic is still being talked about and that stories like his are being pulled out of that bigger story and that his name is talked about by me or by others. He was only an ordinary worker on that ship. He'd helped to build it and then he sailed on it. And I, I'm sure he never envisaged a situation where the eyes of the world would be back on Belfast 100 years later to commemorate this great ship.